Alright, so welcome to the... which settlement is this again? I keep forgetting. Yeah, the drive-in. So I'm at Starlight Drive-In, which is my, I guess, my sandboxing area of... Lots of open space. So I have a little settlement here. I've done some work with a bunch of stinking scaffolding here. And I've set up a manufacturing line. So this is the weapons forge. With a bunch of stuff already set in its inventory. And I was discovering how in the world is this thing supposed to work. So I got my vacuum hopper here, which really, honestly, I probably could get away with not needing it. And then I have a storage unit here. I can store all the, the goodies. And I just got done making a whole bunch of weapons. Which I can show you here. Made a bunch of hunting rifles. And I come with short stocks and short barrels. But, uh, let's talk about how to make this thing work because the there isn't a lot of information officially about how to make this thing work. You just have to figure it out. Now, because this thing's on my network, I have you know turret control and other stuff. So let's go talk about weapon forge control. <coughs> so I pick a weapon. These are all basically lightweight, non-energy weapons. Let's try the 10 millimeter. So it tells you what you need. Gear, oil, screw, spring, steel, adhesive. <coughs> so if we get out of that, I can go back over to my my weapon forge inventory and see how much adhesive do I have. I want two, so I'm short. So I know I can't make a 10mm pistol. That's for one 10mm pistol. So let's pick something that's going to probably require less. Let's take a pipe gun. So I have one adhesive, one gear, two oil, three screws, six steel, and one spring. This is probably why pipe pistols are so cheap, is because they have very, very little uh, resources. Now what I don't have in this, in this forge is oil. But I could make two pipe pistols for basically peanuts worth of material. Uh, so yeah, if you thought you needed adhesive before for like everything you do, you ain't seen nothing yet, because this is what this thing needs here. Fortunately, there's ways to make adhesive. If you have some uh, tater plants going, you can grow potatoes and then use them with a few other things to make vegetable starch, which is good for five adhesive. The other thing you can end up doing, which I figured out, which I'll do here, is if you have shipments of stuff, you can throw the shipments right into the hopper and it'll work. It'll work just fine. Like, I have three more adhesive here, so I can take those and then I said I need some oil. So I can actually find, like I could use the oil can, but I need two oil to do it. So don't know if I have any loose oil here, but I know how to make oil. I have the mod immersive gameplay, so this gives me some more options to doing certain things. So I can do oil distillation. So yeah, let me break down some animal fat here. So I cook some animal fat. One animal, one unit of animal fat gives you five units of oil. You basically render it down or whatever. So I can go like this, and then I can throw in my adhesive and my 50 oil. And now I can tell the thing I want to make a pipe gun. Oops, sorry, tabbed that one too many times. So you see, it's trying to do something, right? Yeah, I got a pipe pistol. It's just a basic pipe pistol. Now, something I realized here... Oops. I gotta pick, pick, get up. If you have something falling into this thing, it gets sucked into the inventory of the unit. So now I got a pipe pistol sitting there in the inventory that I've produced. Now you see this machine doing the up and down thing here as it's hydraulically pressing the parts out or whatever. It, um, once it runs out of, it looks like it's going to run out of adhesive and then it'll be done. Because you can see, okay, I got one adhesive lift. It's used eight units of oil already. So yeah, it's, I think it's finished. It's not going to do any more. So I was able to get four. Or five, actually. And now it stopped because it has totally ran out of adhesive. So adhesive is the thing that you're going to be limited on. So if I wanted to, I could go schlep across the wasteland and tell them, hey, go find something else. But I 
until my iBot pod, hey, go find some iBot and some stuff. I don't even know where that stupid thing is. But, uh, yeah. So, ways to essentially grow and make your own adhesive out of vegetable starch with the farm would be very useful for these types of endeavors. There's other manufacturing units you can create. You can do, um, you could do clothing, armor, heavy weapons. There's a number of things you can do. So, let's go see here if I can find where this junk is at. Manufacturing. This is part of the contraptions workshop stuff, so under machinery. Variety of basic objects, huh? I wonder what this does. So, you know what I'll do? I'll go through, I can make 221 of these things. I can set up a manufacturing line right here. And then I can do... I don't want a hopper, I basically want conveyor storage. And these snap together, which makes it really neat. And because they're connected, you don't have to run wires from one to another. You can just go from... Oops. I kind of had a build mode here. I can just simply go like this. And now the conveyor belt's running and it says, yep, I got power. Everything's running here. And now because it's all laid, like, cable up to the right uh, material, or right uh, to the terminals, I can go like this and say, oh, whoops, well, let's get you to scan for components. Adhesive. Alright, thanks. Now I'll see if I can use this to talk to my... Oh, really? Hmm. Do I need to use my other terminal? I also have the vault uh, terminal here. This should allow me to talk to stuff. Alright, so builder control. So I can make a bunch of basic... basically junk. So what do I need to make teddy bears? Leather and cloth. Evident... Also, that's interesting. So if I look at a teddy bear, do I have a teddy bear? I can find out how much a teddy bear actually gives me when I scrap it, or what it's worth. So teddy bear gives me one leather and three cloth when I scrap it, but... If I look at what it is here... It gives me... I need two leather and four cloth, so one extra resource to make the thing that it takes to, when I break it down, which makes sense. It is easier to destroy than to create. So that's how that works, so I probably won't even care about that. I was thinking it was going to be, you know, some nifty, but... So I'll just store that because whatever. It's not going to hurt anything here. So yeah, that's manufacturing lines, and you can get really fancy with it and have um, multiple lines produced with conveyor belts to have everything end up in storage. Because right now I have just the one manufacturing plant going to a storage unit, and I have a table in case I want to show up my wares. But that's basically it in terms of how these things work. So, I hope it's useful a little bit. I had to trial and error the hell out of this thing to make it even work at all, which was rather interesting. So, uh, have fun producing a bunch of really expensive stuff and finding all that adhesive you're going to need, and I'll talk to you all later.